You don't see this room? I don't know about you guys, but this room is looking freaking dope. This year, <coughs> oh shit, what the hell? This year I actually got into interior design. So I've been reading a few books here and there. Obviously it isn't like your typical Instagrammable room, like, you know, mid-century modern or Scandinavian, or I don't have the toga chairs and things of that nature, right? We were slowly building up to that. But nonetheless, we ended up getting, I don't know if you guys can tell, some green pillows to match the overall plants. And then my girlfriend found the little modernized um, line print pillows, throw pillow. So that's there too. We actually hung some, some painting. So I'm actually pretty excited because this is actually the film room, film area where I do all my videos, as you guys may know by now. But nonetheless, let me go over here. Your boy has actually been out because I've been freaking sick and injured again. So it's pretty annoying because I think I've been sick twice this year and injured three times this year. And it's literally June and like I'm supposed to be 1.30-ish by September because you boys going to Hawaii. I'm feeling better, a little bit congested in a sense, but you know, we're, we're getting there. I can't let this hold me back. So more videos to come. I'm so sorry guys, this year has been super weird health wise. I don't know why, but yeah. All right y'all, excuse the mess, but dude, Look at my new camera setup. I've also actually been getting into video production again. Uh, if you guys didn't know, I was actually into creating my own video production company. Well, I actually do, it's a secret. Everything video related from coloring, correcting, transitions, things of that nature, that is literally my background. But nonetheless, your boy got a cage for his camera. I also even got like a monitor, obviously microphone um handle right here from my old camera <clears throat> and a cage so super excited to start creating videos for companies again back to what we're doing Finally, time for us to go. I'm obviously not going to be bringing the camera with me because it's super huge, super bulky, but nonetheless, we got our iPhone. But here's the fit. I don't know if you guys can see, and it's kind of weird talking to the mirror to talk to the camera. So that way I can talk to you guys, but I mean, you guys get the gist, right? So, um, weather has been super weird. Here in the Bay Area, it's been cloudy and windy, when around this time, it's supposed to be 80 to 90 degrees weather. So I'm just wearing this Uniqlo U oversized uh, pocket tee. Tucked it in obviously for a smarter look. And I have my Zara pleated shorts. Um, obviously own police sale alternatives. And the infamous Doc Martin Carlson's, sorry for the laundry noise, but yeah, this is a fit. And uh, go ahead and head out to the adventure. All right, excuse the mess. Your boy's finally back home, but y'all look at this. This is probably the most expensive pizza slice I've ever bought. Fucking six dollars for this when when a regular pizza box is like two, three dollars more. So for the thumbnail. Here's a little story time. If you guys are ever in the Bay Area and you guys need a place to go shopping, the best place to go shopping for anything modern uh, designer, it would be a place called Valley Fair Mall or Westfield Valley Fair Mall in San Jose. I think they have one in SF as well, but the problem is they're actually closing that down because SF is freaking ghetto now. We ended up going to Zara because I guess they were having this sale going on. I think it's their uh, annual summer sale. so. You boy had to go ahead and you know check it out. I, I did not intend to buy anything specific. 
Um, the only thing I had in mind is cap collar shirts, polo shirts, and some jorts. Little did I know, I found 10 things to try. And let me tell you guys, I was a bit worried on how much I was going to spend. Luckily, your boy only came out with a few things. I will show you guys after story time. But we also went to other places as well at the mall. I mean, we're already there, so why not, right? So my girl shopped at Oakenfort and Aritzia. And she likes going to this matcha place called Matcha Maiko. Is it Matcha Maiko? Okay. There's a long line, so we we're just chilling. And then after Matcha Maiko, there's actually an Amber Combi, which as you guys may know, has been blowing up recently with their stuff. I actually personally love their stuff. After we went shopping, we just checked out another few stores. Um, checked out this cool plant place called Leafy. We're trying to make the place a little bit more colorful by adding some greenery into our apartment. And then after that, we tried this ramen spot called... I'm like, oh, what the hell is this ramen spot called? So we tried this place called Kumako Ramen Den. I don't know if you guys can see that. That spot right there. Yeah, basically that place was super bomb. Um, I ended up not getting ramen just cause I personally don't like eating soup when it's hot, even though it wasn't as hot today, but I was kind of craving uh, kind of like a rice bowl. I ended up getting their Gyudon combo, which is like 17 bucks. And then my girl got the Tonkatsu soup. I actually tried their broth and it was actually pretty spicy, which was good. My dish was good, but the best part was the service because the guy who was our server, I think it was a business owner, that dude was hilarious. He was cracking jokes left and right. And there was this one joke when he was like, how do you like your rice bowl? And I was like, oh my God, it's so good. And he was like, good, because we marinated for so long, you can see the mold in there. And I thought that was pretty hilarious. So then I played along with him and was like, oh, is this a dry age for like 25 days? And he's like, oh yeah, see, it's dry age. So that means it's good. That's why there's mold. Pretty funny. I don't know about you guys, but I thought that was pretty funny. And then after that, we ended up getting coffee. And as you guys saw, you guys saw my pizza. So a little quick story time. Uh, it's pretty chill Sunday. Um, I'll show you guys what I got. I'm actually planning to get more stuff on Abercrombie's website. Um, the store did not have my size. Literally, there was like two pieces that I really, really liked out of like, I don't even know, like eight to 10 that had my size, which is a medium. Let me show you guys my Zara haul really quick. And with that guys, the day's basically over. Expect more vlogs rather than fashion videos during the summer because during the summertime, I don't really buy a lot of clothes to be honest with you guys. I'd rather just save the money, maybe spend it more on accessories if anything. I'm actually heading to Portland fairly soon. So I'll go ahead and do a thrifting, fashion and eating video. And yeah guys, hope you guys like the shirt the shirt is actually really really sick if you ask me but yeah i'm gonna end the day with reading and i hope you guys are well so please like comment and subscribe and expect more vlogs during the summertime with that you boys out please like comment subscribe follow tiktok follow gram follow everything we're here to take over we're not here to take part peace out